Hello everybody, meteorologist Hutch Johnson joining you <clears throat> on this chilly Tuesday afternoon in spring and it's supposed to be spring and we have this temperature lag going on. There's a seasonal temperature lag, there's daily temperature lags and today we're going to learn a little bit about that. Love to see you signing on, always love to see your comments, sign in with your name and uh, let me know where you're uh, uh, watching from. John, good to have you on board, thanks for joining weather class today. Hey students, I hope school's going really good for you. Uh, BB, good to have you on board as well. I don't know where this is coming from. This thing is putting uh, sunglasses on me. So we're going to go with the flow. Hey, that's a nice lid too, I guess I got. <laughs> How do you do this? Okay, I accidentally did this, but today I am down with being cool because we have some good weather to talk about as well. Rick, good to have you on board. Alex from Fargo, good to have you on board. Uh, thanks, Ryan. Um, Chase as well, good to see you. Uh, Carrie uh, says, Grant from Crookston is on board. Do you like Hutch's sunglasses? Hey, I guess this is some kind of a, I don't know what you call it, an app. BB's in Thief River Falls and it's 50 degrees in Moorhead. Tim Haas and family joining. Love to see you all here. What a wild week of weather. We've had a little bit of everything. Logan gave me a wave. Waving back to you, Logan. Maureen, good to see you. Owen, Shane, and Weston all joining class today. And today, Wendy from Minnesota gets to hang out with Mr. Cool, the weather guy. I guess I got some kind of filter going on here. I know nothing about this, but I kind of think it's fun. Look at they follow me around a little bit too. And then watch this. Uh, shout out to Robert who's watching with me in Thief River Falls. Robert, good to see you on there. Do you like my glasses? How about my lid? You like my lid? All right, Hollywood Hutch, Rick says, love it. All right, today's class. Uh, Wendy's from Monaga, Jocelyn is from Fargo, and Nathan is here from Moorhead, Minnesota. Good to have all of y'all on board. Let's talk a little bit about the fun we're gonna have today. Look, it's putting the, the sunglasses and hat on my picture right there too, watch. That's the craziest thing I've ever seen. Okay, thanks, Wendy. I'm glad we're looking cool. Uh, this is a lot of fun. I've never had this. Oh, it's an awesome day outside. I've already been out. I've done some playing. I've had some fun out there. Let's talk about our subject today. First and foremost, uh, today's topic is called temperature lag. And you're like, hmm, that sounds boring. So I'll try to not make it boring. It's an interesting topic. And today I want you to answer a question for me. This question is... What time of the day on your watch or on your cell phone do you notice that the warmest temperature usually happens? Is it usually warmest at 6 in the morning? Is it usually warmer at noon? Sometime in the afternoon? Or is it warm at night, 8 o'clock? When is usually the warmest time of the day? So that's today's question. Go ahead and type in there your answer. And today you're going to understand more about why we typically have the warmest temperature when we do. And that's called temperature lag. 5 p.m., Tyler says. Tyler, that's a wonderful guess. This time of year, Maureen says 4 to 5. That's usually about what time we have our high temperature. Sometimes in the summer, it gets a little bit later. And in the winter, the sun's already setting by 4 o'clock. Susan says 4. Rick says three. Uh, Carrie says any time in the afternoon, and Susan says in the p.m., and BB says in the early morning. So sometimes that happens, BB, but not all the time. Usually it's in the afternoon sometime. In the winter, we typically have our high temperature around three o'clock. Jim Jensen, good to see you on board. I'm going to give you a wave back there, buddy. Good to have you on board. In between two and three, Joe Val says that's typically the case in winter. Kimberly says noon. And Kimberly, that's a great guess. That's when we usually have that sun highest in the sky. And that would seem to be when we should be having our warmest temperature of the day. Jim Jensen says afternoon, and afternoon is right. It's sometime after high noon. Let's talk about that in today's weather class. So Hutch has prepared some fancy pants graphics on his fun weather computer here. I love the guesses. Keep them coming. Now, <clears throat> here's another thing. This morning, we woke up with some nasty... Uh, well, let's just call it frigid cold. 18 in Rolla, 19 in Hallock, and we had temperatures of, look at Grand Forks, 18 gorgeous degrees first thing this morning. You could freeze an egg on the sidewalk with temperatures like that, right? 
So that was our morning temperature, and that's where we started our day, with temperatures in the teens to around 20. Not weather for this, more like weather for a parka, I guess. Now, when we have warmed up since the sun has come out, here's where we are at now. Peak temperature so far today. We're not at our, our peak temperature today, and it's already 2 in the afternoon. It is still warming, and we've made it all the way from the teens to near 20 degrees to the 50s. And that makes Hutch say amen. But did you know 50 degrees is still pretty ridiculously cold for this time of year? Our average high this time of the year is about 67 degrees across the area, 68. And we're 50 degrees. That's almost 20 degrees below average. That's way too cold. Okay? Now, let's take a look at some graphics I've prepared to describe this. When the sun is low in the sky, first thing in the morning, those sun rays are a long ways from where we're standing. Think of being the picture taker here. You took this picture, the sun is low in the sky, either sunrise or sunset. Those sun rays have to travel all the way from the sun and through the atmosphere before they get to us. So there's a lot of air between you and the sun, miles and miles of air. And that air reflects the sun's light, it absorbs a little bit of the sun's light, it bends the sun's light so that less light reaches you. So when the sun is low in the sky, it's warming, but really, really slow warming. We talked about that a little bit in Hutch's class on heat. And if you missed that, coming up in a bit, I'll show you where you can find that information. Tyler, I love your cold face there. That dude is cool. Now, when the sun is low in the sky, we can learn a couple of things here. And that is that the energy is spread out over a wide area, so we get slow heating. Now, here's an example of when the sun is high in the sky. The sun has more focused energy on each square inch of the ground of the earth, and that makes things warm up faster. And it also has less atmosphere to travel through, right? It's straight overhead, so it's going through a shallow layer of the Earth's atmosphere, the shallowest, so there's less reflection and bending and all that stuff that happens to the sun's light. And Let's take a look again back at the morning. In the morning, time of our day, the temps begin rising, right? We wake up, it's been dark. Ain't no warming gonna happen when it's dark unless we got a south wind and we got warm air from like Texas blowing our way. Then it's gonna warm up at night. That doesn't always happen. Usually at night, when the sun goes down, we cool off. But the second the sun comes up, it's on. And as we go ahead and take a look at Hutch's fancy pants graphic, I'm going to go back. Okay, so here we are. The temps begin in the morning, and here we are, noon. When we get to noon, that sun rises up in the sky, and that's the peak heating time. That is the time when the sun's rays are most direct. They travel through less miles of atmosphere, only 100 miles of air. And they get right down to the ground, and they get to business warming the ground up. But that's not always the hottest time of the day. And then evening, the sun gets lower and lower in the sky, but we're still heating, right? Because the sun is still out. So our temperature isn't the highest at noon when the sun is baking us with the most direct radiation. Our high temperature comes in the afternoon. Okay? Not all the way at sunset, even though we're still slowly warming, we're actually cooling a little bit more by that time. But the warmer temperatures happens after the noon hour because we're still getting sunlight. Now, looking at the satellite loop today, as Hutch wants to point out, the fact that we got abundant sunshine today across North Dakota and northern Minnesota, bunches and bunches of sun. Now, there's some clouds in the western Dakotas, and those clouds are moving in our way. We even have some rain showers out there near, say, uh, Billings County, Golden Valley County, out there in western parts of uh, North Dakota and eastern Montana. Those clouds and showers are moving our way and will make our Wednesday a little bit rougher. But today, we get to enjoy sun. I want to point this out. Here's a look at our current conditions. We have 51 degrees. The wind is from the east southeast at 8. It's not too bad. Moorhead's temperature is 52 degrees. Hey, let's take a look at this. I've got a time lapse from this morning. And it records, if you watch our news, when we play our time lapse, I have our temperature up here. Okay? We started out the morning at 26, and the sun's still right there. It's coming up. You see it? There's the sunrise. 
So the sun is beginning to rise. Our temperature is 26. This is at 549. So the sun is rising. Boom. Our, our temperature went down even after sunrise. We're still losing more heat than we're gaining because the sun is so low in the sky. So our low temperature often happens after sunrise. Crazy. Boom. Knock the hat off, right? But just after sunrise, we're still losing more energy than we're gaining by the sun because it's so low in the sky. But now it's game on. From six o'clock in the morning on, that sun's going to work. You can even see the rays or feel them on your face, right? And now uh, at eight o'clock in the morning, we're 33 degrees. So we are warming nicely today here in Fargo. <clears throat> then as we take a look, heading towards noon, 47 degrees. Now noon, right? This is the time when the sun is at its highest in the sky. It has the least amount of atmosphere to travel through, so we should be getting the maximum heat. And we usually are, unless, say, there's clouds or something blocking the sun. So high noon usually is when we get the max heat, but that's not when the temperature is at a maximum. Here is noon. And now I'll advance our time lapse to now, okay, to around the 2 o'clock hour, and we've still been rising because we're still gaining energy from the sun because it's still out shining in the sky and doing its job. That is temperature lag. And that is the difference in time between when we have the peak incoming sunshine heat or energy, okay, and our peak temperature, which happens later in the day. In the winter months, our peak temperature usually happens around three o'clock, okay? In the summer, it can happen closer to five, sometimes even as late as six o'clock. So that lag gets longer in the summer because the sun is higher in the sky and really has a lot more energy. And that makes us happy usually, unless of course we're stuck in a cold pattern like we are right now. Couple more things before we wrap up class today. I gotta ask you if you have a friend who you think might enjoy this class, tag them in the comments. They'll go ahead and watch it. And I hope your school's going good. Here's your temperatures right now across our area. Bedette 49, 49 in Grand Forks, 50 in Jamestown, and Fargo is the warmest. High from second, third, and fourth graders at Cleveland School in Fergus Falls ought to be a good day to get outside. <laughs> Thanks, Linda. Good to have all your kids watching today from um, otter tail country, lakes country. Beautiful weather. And it's crazy because normally this time of year we'd say 50 is cold. And it is. It's 20 degrees almost below average. Uh, here is a look at our live sky cam right now. And as we take one more thing, well, I think that's about it for graphics that I have. So temperature lag, a pretty interesting subject. We have peak heating at noon, but we get our high temperature of the day later. Does that make sense, kids? I hope it does. There's something called seasonal temperature lag. What do you think that might mean? Can you, I, I got a question for you, test question. We already asked you, what time of the day do you think we usually have the warmest temperature? And y'all did great. Most of you said the afternoon. That's really good. I saw an angry face there. I think that might be because of the weather, right? Maybe, or maybe you don't like my look, okay? I just accidentally put this filter on today. Jill, thank you for joining class today. My question is, type in the answer you think. What time of the year is the warmest in Fargo or where you live? If you're watching from out of state, we've had viewers from Texas. We've had viewers from the Southeast. We've had viewers from... Uh, uh, Germany. Tell me where you are and tell me what time of the year is usually the warmest. You could say summer and that's a generic answer, but do you know what month is usually warmest where you live? Here in Fargo, um, is, is, it, is it now? Is it May? Is it June? Uh, Beatrice, is it Beatrice? Beatrice says August? Question mark. Yeah, early August. It's usually the warmest time of the year. Early August is the warm, warmest time of the year. John says June. Maybe a uh, warm September. Nathan says uh, September. That's a very good guess. Sometimes we're warm all the way until early September. The dog days of summer. July, says Carrie. That's a good, that's a very good guess. For Fargo, 
Our average daily high temperatures get the warmest in late July and early August. So if you said July and August for Fargo, that is exactly right, okay? That's when we're the warmest. What is the time of the year? Your next test question. What is the time of the year? An approximate day with the longest daylight hours in Fargo or where you live. What is the day with the most daylight hours? So in winter, where we live, the daylight hours drop down to about eight hours. And the shortest day of the year is on or around that December 21st, right before Christmas. And we only have eight hours of sunlight. And the rest of the 24-hour day is darkness. That's 16 hours of dark. Then we're cooling for 16 hours a day and only warming eight. That's why we get so cold. Carrie says, June 21st. Ding, 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 ding. Great answer. June 21st on or around is the uh, date that's called the summer solstice. And that is the peak amount of heating in the northern hemisphere as far as the peak length of daylight hours go. And here in Fargo, that's about 16 hours of daylight. In July in Minnesota, Wendy says, that's right, late July uh, 21st, the first day of summer. So my question now is this. Now we're talking about something different. I'm kind of leading you along this path of of seasonal temperature lag. June 21st is the longest uh, daylight hours that we get in the calendar year. Is that the hottest day of the year? No. Most of you answered July and August as being the warmest time. And that is, when we look back at our climate records, late July and August is when we have the warmest weather here in Fargo. So... Um, oh, Beatrice didn't pay attention. That's okay. It's okay. I'm, it's, it's a sunny day. Sometimes tension wanders out the window. I'm looking out the window right now. All right, back to class. Oh, my glasses got crooked if I move too quick. All right. Oh, this is a good look. Let's do this look. This says more that teacher look, right? Looking over the rim of the glasses. The hottest days occur in August. The longest hours of daylight is in June the end of June. Why the difference? Why do we have a seasonal temperature lag? Why don't we get the warmest weather of the year when we have the longest daylight hours? And that is because we still have more hours of daylight than darkness. So we're still continuing to warm our earth and atmosphere all the way in to August before things start cooling off. So that's why we have a temperature lag daily because we're still getting incoming solar energy, even in the afternoon, that's warming us. That's why we have a seasonal temperature lag, because even after June 21st, we're still getting an excess of solar energy for the next couple months, and our average temperatures keep going up and up and up until we hit that tipping point and the daylight hours start growing shorter, and then we cool more. That's temperature lag, everybody. Now, we're going to have a fun class for, for uh, Thursday. Uh, hey, sunglasses plus a hat equals hutch. Glad you guys could join us. If you have questions, leave them in the comments here. I love seeing your comments about class. Thank you for all the kudos. Thank you for the thank yous. I really do appreciate it. And I'm having a lot of fun talking with you in class uh, each uh, couple times each week. It's a lot of fun. Uh, Hope you're learning some things about weather. Uh, Maybe you can share with your science teacher what you're learning about weather, even though you're not going to the classroom every day, you're remotely learning with Hutch. So I hope you're learning some things about the weather. Y'all are really uh, appreciated as well for taking the time to join some some time with me. Um, If you have a question, leave them here. I want to leave you with what we've learned today. And I've saved a couple of sites Um, on my page here so that I wanted to point out to you. Number one, here is a cool way to look at temperature. This might take a second to look at. This is the forecast weather, so this isn't past weather. This is what the forecast is. And this line you see here in yellow is the temperature and the forecast temperature. See, it go up and down, up and down, up and down. And if you look at this closely, this graph, on most days, not all days, because rules are like thumbs. They're made to be broken. I I was told that once. I've never broke my thumb, but I broke other fingers. At any rate, most days we have our high temperature in the afternoon. Here's noon where this line is in the middle of each day. So here's Wednesday's forecast. In the middle of the day, 
the the line showing our temperature still going up at noon. So we hit our high temperature in the afternoon. The next day we hit our high temperature in the afternoon. The next day in the afternoon. Whoop, here's a wild day. On Saturday, uh, May the 9th, this past weather, this past Saturday. Oh, this is past weather, excuse me. Saturday, May the 9th, boom, the temperature fell. And in the afternoon, we got colder and colder. So sometimes uh, the temperature don't follow these temperature lag rules that Hutch just told you about. And that's what makes forecasting the weather somewhat cranky and sometimes difficult. But on most days, the temperature starts rising just after sunrise and it hits a peak in the afternoon before it starts coming down again. And that's temperature lag. So a way to look at temperature and a fun way to plot temperature is to not only take the temperatures you measure but if you were to measure them every hour and plot them over time, you would see what time you hit the high spot for the highest temperature and what time you hit the lowest temperature. And that kind of a plot is plotting temperature against time. All right, now let's take another look at another graphic here that the Weather Service has. And this is a, called a meteogram. And these are plots of temperature of the forecast. Now, this is the forecast for today. Temperature's going up all the way to 6 o'clock at night to 52. So Hutch thinks we might get a little hotter than 52 now. We're already 51. I think we'll be in Fargo on our way to between 52 and 55 degrees today. It's so nice. Uh, no, no clouds yet, but they're coming from the west. So as long as we can keep those clouds out of here, uh, we're going to keep uh, warming up. Then tonight we cool off into the 40s. No more teens. Day. Tonight, low temperatures are going to be nowhere near the teens. You don't have to cover your plants. It looks like much warmer weather's heading our way. Wednesday looks kind of flat line temperature. We don't warm up all that much on Wednesday. And in fact, it looks like temperatures during the day might actually just peak out at 50 degrees or so. And it looks like a decent chance of rain. So Wednesday looks kind of gray and a little bit not good for Hutch's sunglasses and lid here. But after that, it's on, and we have some really good weather heading your way. That's your forecast. That's your class today. So awesome to see you guys. Thank you for joining class. Uh, come back in on Thursday because Hutch has a really, really fun class planned for Thursday. We're going to talk about rainbows, okay? If you've seen rainbows in the sky, we're going to talk about exactly how those form, how they're made, and then hopefully... The forecast has a little bit of sunshine for Thursday. Hopefully by Thursday afternoon we have some sunshine and we'll try to show you how to make your own rainbow. Okay, so that'll be Thursday. Tell your friends, tell your family, go ahead and text everybody or go to the Valley News Live's uh, Facebook page and make sure you share um, this class. Uh, here is a look at, um, well, this is uh, Hutch's Facebook page. So. Come on over and give Hutch's Facebook page a like. It's Hutch VNL. Do a search. There's my glasses again. Wow, this filter is just so much fun. I think I might have to do a different filter next time. I didn't even know I turned the filter on. So go ahead and like my page. Head over to the Valley News Live Facebook page, by the way. And on that page, uh, you're going to see all kinds of fun stuff there. Uh, the Valley News Live page is where you're at right now to watch my, um, my class. So that is where you're seeing the class on the Valley News Live page. And on that page, we'll keep you up to date with the very latest. But you can share this event, the class with your friends, by going to our events tab. And we schedule this event. So Hutch's class is here. And you can share that and let me know you're coming to class. I'm not taking attendance, though miss a class. And also you can go to valleynewslive.com and see all of the classes. Go to the weather page and in the right hand side of the weather page, you're going to see a link where all the classes are listed. So going over that, go to valleynewslive.com, click on weather. When you get to the weather page, look on the right side. You see this uh, blue? That's not blue. That's like teal, I think. Teal blue, Hutch's weather class. When you click on that baby, uh, it takes you to a, a video player. And here was the last class, okay? And notice here this list says one of 17. There are 17 classes listed. Today's will be 18, okay? You can scroll through and watch any one of those classes that you may or may not have missed uh, in case you had a sick day or that you missed it. Linda, I hope you're doing good. Karen, thanks for joining. Enjoy the rest of your day. Uh, Kimberly, great to have you and Wendy on board today in class. 
Uh, Nathan, always good to see you as well. Have a wonderful day. Enjoy the sunshine. Remember, clouds, rainy weather, but not necessarily cool weather for Wednesday. And then we start climbing back to sunglasses weather. All smiles. See you later and hopefully on Thursday for class. Bye-bye, everybody.